big up to everyone um lovely family and lovely friends like always um happy sunday to everyone out there you know the game is over <laughs> yeah the game is over ghana versus uh center africa republic is over one one um guys i'm gonna share my little bit with you about the game today um you know it was a great game um yesterday i predicted that ghana gonna win 2-1 um, but that didn't happen 1-1 one, one draw to me it's fair result <laughs> um i was if you remember yesterday i was saying that the game is going to be very tough game it's going to be very tight game um you know we're not going to get it easy i was having the feeling like maybe it's going to be draw 2-1 so i go for 2-1 and that actually um didn't happen but you know obviously ghana gonna qualify from the group there is no true doubt about that but you know a lot of people having few issues about ghana not winning the game ghana should have won the game in order but hey um a team that went to nigeria to beat nigeria in their own backyard um don't expect them to um, play for african cup of nation for the like opening game losing um, 2 1, and you expect them to lose this one again. At least they deserve some point. So, for me, um, for Ghana, Green 1 1, um, it is not that much bad, but yes, we could have won the game. But <laughs> what hey, you know, guys, I'm gonna talk about kudos as well. What a goal! What's a great, great goal! And I think, um, this guy is really something else. I don't know why he's not getting playing time on Ayas, but I feel like maybe sometimes he's not releasing ball quick. Maybe that could be the problem sometimes. But hey, two games, two goals. Um, big congratulations to Kudos as well. He did very well. And his, the goal was like superb, you know. And if you have a problem like maybe the selection today, for me, um, I wasn't having problem with the selection. Sometimes, why these players call up? They call to play. So a a team like a, not to disrespect a, um, a Central Africa Republic, but a team like that, you need to give some players chance to see how they're gonna perform. Yeah. So for Coach Otoado and the Techno team, um, putting this out there to face um, Central Africa Republic, I think it was a a great selection. I'm not gonna say why a lot of change. Yes, it's good. All of us we're always complaining that you know it's good to give some players a chance not always calling players to sit down on the bench so when or what time do you expect they're good to do so so to me it is the right time to do so to introduce um a new players um to start the game so that the coach can see the performance can see what player um deserve to be the world cup if you cannot give player chance in these games what time again are you are we expecting the coach to give some players chance? So to me, it was a great um, certain lineup. Um, you and I observed some few things, players that really improve, players that do not really improve. And the players that didn't really improve, is not like maybe they are not good enough. Sometimes we need patience and time for some players. So my view of today's game, it was a great game. Um, my personal opinion, um, it was a great game. and. I wasn't expecting that the Ghana gonna get it easy. If you watch my um, this video here, which I spoke about the game yesterday, um, you know I said this game is not gonna be easy. It's gonna be tired game. So if you get a chance to watch um, the game against um, the Central African Republic, the game they they play against um, Angola. You know they wasn't like even deserve to lose the game they deserve that game to get a, a point they actually take lead on that game so guys um a lot of you guys are saying that all well, is not a fair result ghana should have won the game yes um the more you think about yourself think about other country like um <laughs> what do you because they cannot go two games and uh, it's like um they are a third game Will be away or something like that it's like they are going away so imagine losing this game going to another game again going to play away 
an illusion three. No, it's not. Go, it, it's not like that. So, guys, sometimes we need patience. You have to believe that um, no matter what, Ghana going to qualify from the group, and I believe that Ghana going to top the group. Um, yeah. So it was my my. I didn't feel any doubt uh, or maybe like Ghana will not qualify. No, Ghana going to qualify. But today game. Uh, Mohamed Kudos really, really impressed me today. And what player is that I can say really impressed me? Um, yeah, all of the players, they did well. They did very well. Um, despite that, um, for us, we wanted a win. And that win didn't happen. And we got draw. It's good. Now we are going to the Four Nation Tournament um, to see how um, some of the players can perform there. So, guys... What is your view about today's game? Are you really disappointed? Are you really disappointed that Ghana didn't win the game today? Um, well, if you are, um, put your comment and let me know. And what player you think it really, the player didn't impress you? What player also impressed you today's game? For me, the players, all they did their best. Um, but um, I was expecting more from Osman Bukhari. Um, it was a little bit down today and I was expecting more from Jesse Pencil as well because um, the way he normally um, does all the time, it was like a little bit slow today. Apart from that, um, they did very well. And yeah, to me, I would say it is fair result, 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah, the other push it also deserve to get one point. As I said earlier on yesterday, that it's going to be a very tight game. We shouldn't expect that a lot of people were saying that well, Ghana gonna score four goals, Ghana gonna score three goals. And I said, okay, let's wait and see. Um, even for me, I, I, I come close. I, I predicted two one, and that didn't happen. Um, yeah. So this is what I, I have for you guys today. What do you think about the match? What is your view? What player impress you? And what are you expecting from the coach and the technical team? What do you think they need to improve? For me. What they need to improve is the goal scoring. That is our biggest problem. If you see Ghana, always if you will get a goal, aside from the midfield. But the strikers today, Felix was I was not seeing Felix in the game today, and all that. So uh, we still need to work and get strikers that can get goals. That is our main problem now. So guys, have a nice evening, have a nice Sunday, and enjoy yourself.